Hello everybody, and I am Welsh Necro, and I am here to finish up Vlad the Impaler, my first character. And so it's been a while since I played it, because I've been busy. Uh, my cousin got married last week, so I had to go to the wedding, and then there was I was working all week, and I never had a chance to finish it up. So now I want to finish it up now. So it's turn 10, chapter 4, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't know where to go, so I think I'll go... I'll go with here. No, no, I'm gonna go with the palace. You receive an invitation to come to the palace of the Sultan and visit with the E.I. Heifer? The Royal Artist Community. Being a sketch artist yourself, this is a remarkable opportunity. After passing through the gates, courtyards, and corridors, of the palace, you emerge into a building unlike any other you've seen elsewhere. Oh, elsewhere? Oh, no, everywhere. Painters, sculptors, poets, and dancers create their masterpiece under the direct sponsorship of the Sultan. At last, you are introduced to a man named Azim, who is the head of the E.I. The F.I. Heifer? Welcome, my friend, he says. I have heard through my means that you are trying to discover the truth about the curse that has befallen Istanbul. As such, there is a question I would like to ask you. Please ask it, you reply. A miss says, why would, you, why would a foreigner such as yourself wish to save our city? An old friend of mine asked me to, and I never let a friend down, because people deserve to live free of wickedness, no matter where they are from. Uh, I don't remember the exact reason why, I don't know, it could be this, and I think that might be the one, but I want to go with the, the righteousness. Azim nods and says, I was hoping to hear you say that, follow me, you follow a miss to one of the towers of the artist's building. When he opens the door, you witness a grisly scene. An artist has killed himself using his own has killed himself using his own blood to paint the last few strokes of an enormous painting. What has happened here? you asked. Admin Admins replies uh, Yourself was brilliant, but when the killing began in the city he changed. His mind grew sick. And some weeks ago, he locked himself in here and committed and commenced on this. You look up at the painting on the wall. It is both brilliant and frightening at the same time. A castle high on a mountain with dark clouds raining blood across the surrounding lands and wolfmen and other monsters emerging from the shadowy corners of the painting. You think it's an omen, you ask. I think that you are more of an expert than I am, Admis replies. You look down at the bloody artist laying against the wall beneath his masterpiece. Clearly he was moved by something. Oh, so I get one intelligent. Okay, uh... A lot of bad things have happened to me in the catacombs. So I'm gonna stay away from there for now. Kinda looks like there's a skull right there, I mean, it kinda looks... Uh, I'm gonna go back to the port. It is night when you emerge from black waters off the port of Istanbul, scaling the anchor chain of the dead of the dread ship in silence. You can hear the soft whimpering and crying of people coming from deep within the hold. When you reach the deck of the vessel, you slip over the side. Your first act is to slice open the throat of the starboard guard. He gurges his last breath beneath the hand you have collapsed over his clasp over his mouth you look up at the red sail battened down in the still night air as you quietly drag the guard behind some crates you have successfully infiltrated the ship of the damned head straight for the captain and take over the ship or free the prisoners first. I think I should take over the ship first because then I can 
Actually, no. No, I gotta go free the prisoners first, because if I try to take over a ship, they might use the prisoners as hostages. You descend stealth stealth stealthfully into the hold. There, your eyes are met with a spectacles of sadism. A hundred people of all races and ages are maliced into the wall. Via an integrated system of chains and pulleys, their screams and cries as a number of Istanbul's more statistic noble nobility carry out their most depraved fantasies and cruelty and torture. A number of guards in red sashes watch on with whips and crouches just in case any of the slaves get out of line. You notice a young Istanbul girl just being taken out of a cage and linked up to the chain. Just behind her, a fat European looking man waits with raw anticipation and hot branding iron. Your path is clear. The guards need to go first. With cunning speed, you kill the first two before anyone seems to be the wiser. The third pulls up a f puts up a fight, but he is only armed for beating prisoners, whereas you are armed for killing men. Right there, where... Whereas, <laughs> they got a little mistake right there, whereas, but maybe that's a reason there, so the way you read it. He goes down into a spray of a red, as several more run towards you. The, no the nobles scramble away, attempting to flee up the stairs. When suddenly you hear the screams of wheels and metal clogs, a moment later every single one of the malice slaves are violently yanked towards the the aft of the boat. I wonder it's uh they scream as they are pulled along and you turn to see them drug one after another out a window into the back of the ship. The sounds of splashing cut off their screams and you realize to your utter horror that the chains are connected to a pair of anchors and one of the guards has thrown the switch to drop them. A moment later the last of the slaves are yanked out of the hatch. Oh god I just killed a hundred people. Dear god. Oh. A moment uh the last of the slaves are yanked out of the hatch and disappear beneath the curtains of the Boreo the Boreos. The guards get in several good strikes on you, and you only barely manage to get away from them. As you make your way up the steps onto the deck you see a commanding woman still pulling pulling on her tunic as she points at you. Seize him, she screams. Yes, Captain, comes the reply from the massive one-eyed man at her side. You split in their direction, spit in their direction, and leap into the raining, in the railing, shouting, sail to the edge of the world and I will still burn this ship to the sea. And with that, you leap into the cold black waters, temporarily de defeat it. So the intelligence I just got, I lost. Oh, dear God. I, I don't know. In my head, I feel like maybe if I did go attack the captain first, it still could have turned out that way. It, I may have got killed, or maybe I wouldn't have, may, I wouldn't have been able to save them either way. But I don't really know. But anyway, let's continue on. Uh, let's go to... I've been to the palace. Let's go to the square. square. Mm. You have come to the city square in order to find a man who, ha who can translate the symbols you found written in a book the other night. As you are searching for the rug where he usually sits, you hear a sudden commotion erupt from the crowd nearby. Shouts and cries of horror go up as you are pr as you press your way through to see what is happening. There, sitting in a pool of his own blood, 
is a man tracing symbols onto the ground around him. His belly has been cut open and his and he has a dirty jacket. The symbols look similar to what the ones you found the other night. And you step forward. What are you doing, you ask? Being a little slow. A pained smile across his crazy mouth as he replies, Only what the king of the catacombs tells me to. The man's tongue is swollen and black inside his mouth. Always what he tells me. Speak to them with my words, he says. Show them that I yet rule the beneath. He sticks the knife back into his stomach with a painful cry and pulls it out again, freeing more blood. Have you seen him? The man asks through clenched teeth. Yes, I have seen more of him than I can ever forget. I'm going to say, no, I haven't. The man spits blood out of his mouth and gets a crazy look in his eyes. Look upon his work in despair. He finish. He finishes the final symbol on the ground. And as he does so, a sudden earthquake begins to shake the city. Bells ring. People everywhere scream. And you are barely able to stay on your feet. The ground splits in the middle of the square and a huge cloud of dust explodes upwards. Followed by jagged rocks and debris. A few moments later, the rumbling ceases, and everything goes still. The crazed man lies dead on the ground, his blood seeping acro away across the cobblestone, and his back and his black, rotting tongue lolling out of his open mouth. As people regain their feet, frightened and shaken up, you look over at the upheaving of rocks in the square. There is, there in the clearing of, in the clearing dust, multiple tombs and sarcophagus jut upwards from the ground. Their lids have fallen open, with ancient scallops collapsing out. They must have been from the catacombs beneath the square. But just how could that insane man have done all of this with just strange rituals? More than that. Why? Okay, so this is the end of chapter four. No charm, no agility, no just only cons and magic. So magic ten, intelligent eight. Not doing very good with all my stats. My charm is eight, so that's not bad. Anyway, let's continue on to chapter five. So that'll be the next video, so thank you for watching this one, and I hope you enjoy, and we shall find out what happens in the next chapter. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.